I'm sorry if I'm not in focus because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to work with a very rainy day. I'm Neve, and I'm sorry about my hair because I've just been in the rain. So what better day to film a YouTube video? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through my June and July favorites. I'm gonna start with podcasts. Um, I've been really enjoying podcasts recently. I usually, I'm not very good with like purely audio. I need something to like watch or whatever um, for the stuff to go in my head. But combined with that, I really shouldn't combine favorites, but this is a miscellaneous favorite of mine. I've been enjoying um, adult coloring books. If you wanna get into podcasts and you're, uh, like me and you need to have something to do or like watch at the same time. Just get an adult coloring book. This is a uh, Millie Marotta's Animal Kingdom. I'm not very good at it. Like I've got these pens from Tiger, which is a kind of cheap store place. Uh, they're brush pens as well. So they're like super thick and they don't really work when the details are so fine. But here's one I did. Oh, it's very bright on the camera. There we go. Um, I also go over the, the black with with her fine lines. I kind of messed up that frog. Haha, <laughs> I do coloring in and I'm an adult, lol. Third ones, they're not as good. The podcasts in particular that I've been enjoying are What Am Politics? I know it's a weird title. It doesn't really grammatically make sense for an English nerd like myself, which Steve and Richie, who have amazing Irish accents, um, talk about politics and Steve knows quite a lot about politics and Richie doesn't know anything, which is like me. Um, so it's just really, funny to watch the, like to watch it's a podcast listen to their dynamic their jokes their in jokes are so funny at this point what am politics is very good tv shows i finished peep show i'm like i was in it like two minds about finishing it because i enjoyed it so much i kind of wanted it to go on forever um but then nah because like nine seasons i mean it's only six episodes a season but whatever just it's great peep shows hilarious it's just it's great Game of Thrones obviously has come back and I'm obsessed with it. I loved the uh, most recent episode, the third episode, I'm not going to spoil it, um, of this season. It was just so good, it was so much dialogue, it was like snappy, every scene meant something. I can't remember her name, who plays Daenerys, I think her acting of Daenerys is like so much better this season. Another thing that I've got into uh, is The Office, the US version, I've watched the UK version like it's like one of my favorite shows but yeah the US version of The Office is so funny it's funny because um I didn't watch it for ages because I thought it wouldn't be on the same par as like the British humor of the UK one but it's very similar in my opinion like the sense of humor and even the characters are like fairly similar to the UK one so don't let people's reviews of like the American humor put you off or anything I thought it was really good I've been quite into music this month I should probably bring up my Spotify playlist I make some like very obscure playlists on my Spotify so if you want to like follow any of them you're welcome to even though they're not very good um they haven't got many songs on them I've been really enjoying the Gorillaz new album Humans uh in fact basically all of that album is really good um can't say I've listened to a lot of the interludes but yeah Saturn's Bars Charger and She's My Caller they're good songs okay in June, I went to, I think it was June, I'm pretty sure it was June, I went to see Paramore live. I've never seen them live before, I don't know how. Hayley, I just was like, oh my god, she's so cute, she's so little and bouncy. She was like the best dancer I've ever seen and she was singing really well as well. Before going to that concert, I listened to their newest album, uh, After Laughter. Just realised that rhymes. I like most of the songs on that album. I really like Rose Coloured Boy. I think that's probably my favourite one. What the fuck? The camera stopped recording automatically, so... Sorry if it's a completely different angle or whatever. Movies. I've been so into movies this month. For me, like, I cycle between liking TV shows, liking movies, liking music. This month's been a very much music and movies month. Um, wow, that's alliteration. I watched Speed, the first one with Keanu Reeves in it. I was like hooked the entire time. I love movies that are kind of set mostly in one area. So for example, this one was often like on a bus or whatever. I also saw Wonder Woman, got the free poster. I wasn't expecting to like this movie as much as I did. The whole thing was amazing. I loved the actress. I loved the actor guy. I'm so bad at names. Have you, have you caught up with that yet? It was good. The dialogue was snappy. Wonder Woman, please see it. 
such a good superhero movie. I also watched Drive. I really liked it. It's on Netflix. Um, it had quite long takes. I think it had long takes, which I really like. I also watched Memento, which was bloody incredible. Um, it's about a guy who has short term memory loss and he can't remember basically anything within like the past five minutes or two minutes or something. Um, and the whole movie is kind of filmed backward in that what happens in the movie is like, I don't know, it's very smart. I can't really explain it. And I've been going through like a Christopher Nolan phase. Oh yeah, I finished all of the Batmans. I hadn't seen all of the Batmans. Um, in fact, I hadn't seen any of them before this year. Sorry. Does anyone else think Christopher Nolan looks a bit like Bertie Gilbert, like, but just older? I'm so hungry. Oh my God. I'm making literally no sense. I'm going to have to eat something. Food favourites. Um, apart from the pasta bake that my boyfriend has made me a few times. Just like the best thing I've ever eaten. Um, these things, I just had one. Um, what are they called? They're called stoats. These are the orange and dark chocolate, which is like a killer combination for me. I love dark chocolate and I love orange chocolate. So these are great and they're very healthy, I think. So cool. I mean, they're not very healthy. They're not like broccoli or whatever. But I have two books, Handmaid's Tale. Obviously everyone and their dog is talking about the TV show and I've recorded it on my TV. So I'm going to watch that. Um, but I felt like I had to read the books. It's a classic. I have to say, like everyone says this is such an easy read. I am a very slow reader, like granted, but this took forever to read. Like because her life is so monotonous, because it's a society where women basically have no autonomy. There's so many scenes where it's kind of her just sat in a room and like describing her thoughts in the room. And I was like, oh, like have something happen. Like usually I'm not like that. And I quite like introspective books. Having said that, it was amazing and I definitely would recommend it. It's just, you know, the pace is a bit iffy, um, in my opinion. I've also been reading The Host by Stephanie Meyer or Mayer. Uh, yeah, The Twilight Lady. It's about a universe in which people have like souls and the souls have lots of different lives on different planets. This girl has had her soul implanted in a body but the body still has its memories. It's very different to what I was expecting and some bits are quite sci-fi actually uh, but it's still really good and I would recommend it. Book smell. I've got some YouTube channels that I recommend. One of them is Folding Ideas. Uh, I love basically all of his videos but the one that I really liked was Vlogs and the Hyper Reel. Particularly if you're just really interested in how YouTube works as a like medium. Jenna Marbles. I have always loved Jenna but I kind of just stopped watching her videos for a while. I love her and Julian's dynamic. I think they're like goals in like every way and I think they're so funny and talented and charismatic and oh they're just so watchable and I mean they have a podcast so I'm probably gonna start watching that podcast because I've heard it's really good. Some like really miscellaneous things now. I have Duolingo on my phone. I've been trying to learn Japanese not as much recently um, but they came out with Japanese on the app so I've been learning that. Um, I've been obsessed with The Sims too like obsessed because I have time off at the moment. So yeah I've just got a box here of Sims 2 stuff. I mean like does anyone else smell the booklets? I've been really into Snapchat. I didn't understand Snapchat when you have Instagram. It's like a non-permanent Instagram. I actually have a makeup favourite. I've got it on now actually. This is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick which I know was like a massive thing quite a while ago but like liquid lipsticks as a whole an infamous line of liquid lipsticks and the one I have is bow and arrow. I have it on, it's kind of rubbed off a little bit. It looks really dark in the tube but I'd say for me, being ridiculously pale, it's kind of more of a tanny kind of colour. I also got this necklace from my mum as a graduation present, it just says my name on it, you probably can't read it. Um, it's just a little bar but it's cute. The next video will probably be a poem again because I'm a poetry nerd. I'm rambling. Bye bye. they do it oh <laughs> they don't stop recording then focus and then lean forward and out of shot that's like I'm so dumb there's no logic to anything I do there's something in the air is, is that a song there's something in the air no that's not that's Nirvana we're walking in the air anyone else but think the snowman is like the saddest movie in history that be the end why like, it just kills me every single time. Go away.